me switch strings. Look at that. All free. Dude. Outdoors back here again. My name is Marvin Kevon. We have Andrew. Long time no see. Working daddy duties. And over here, we got the, the white boy in the group. Yeah, the white guy. The non <laughs> look, look at this dude's uh, contraption right here. Homemade bow press. We'll make a video on it when we set up mine. We're currently in Austin's garage because my garage isn't set up, but we're going to build a mini bow shop in my garage. And then this is one of the things that we're going to make right here. The homemade bow press works just fine. Today's video is, so this is my Hoyt Hyperforce. Get it, get it close in there. Look, look at that. String's bad. So we're going to replace it today. I went with 60X bow strings and then I'm gonna see if I can set up tune and hopefully start killing some turkey some or springs yeah but yeah we're gonna get all set it up make sure it's all good hopefully they can get it done tonight this is my first time so this is not how to this is just us filming my first time setting up a bow and I'm pretty excited but I'm running different stuff this year so for the string I went with 60x uh, I did the all black this year I'm going with the Hamsky Trinity limb driven rest. I also got a new peep sight. I got the Hamsky Insight peep sight where you can change the aperture. That's currently on this string right now, but I'm gonna take that off and put it on the new one. Also rocking, so last year I ran the Trophy Ridge Hot wire. Hot wire, yeah. So this year I'm moving to a single pin and I'm going with the Trophy, I think Alpha 1 React technology site. So I'm going to rock with that and I'm going to rock the same stabilizer as last year. Uh, this is 6.2 ounces, uh, Hoyt 8 inch. Works, it's been working great for me so I'm going to go with that this year. I might change it out uh, throughout the year but that's what I'm rocking with right now. Hey but I think his burger's burning. <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Doing the first stream. So I took a bunch of pictures, but I'm gonna do it one at a time. So that way I don't lose track of anything. But I'm gonna try to put it in as I take it up. Everything's on track. All right, moment truth. Hopefully, this doesn't blow up on us. Other way, other way. Shit, shit, shit. Did you back your lens up? Yeah, I was kind of worried about it. Everything's on track. Looking good so far. It's on. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. All right, so I guess now we gotta throw on the rest. Part of the first thing you should do is do, do the rest. So we're gonna do that next. So you make you want to make sure, especially with this one, it's a lot bigger than like a regular drop away rest. So like if you see when I drop down, right there it it hits. So I have to back that up a little bit. Probably max it out. Probably just touch it right there. You want to always want to make sure that this actually drops away all the way. So that's flat right there. Make it pretty tight. And the nice thing about this this wrist, I've never I've never had on any other wrist. So you look at this right here. Don't forget tying down this one right there, that little one. Basically, all that does is make sure when you shoot and all the vibration and stuff, it never 
kicks up or kicks down. So it kind of, it's like a secondary bolt there. Make sure you keep it tight. But you don't want to go too tight on it, just enough. So it kind of gives it that secondary protection on it. I'm just gonna hold it up anyway until you're done tying that. It's my luck as well. Try and clip it. You're good. You're directly in the middle. Alright, so I like to do like a little bit of gap. So I don't have a draw like a super long draw length in general, but just to be better safe than sorry. That little gap, that little play right there, I like having that. And I might I'm I did a little bit more just because I do shoot lighter knocks in the fall when deer season comes. So this should give it enough. If not, I will retire or not, but that should be just good enough. So now we're gonna tie the D loop. I don't know, this is some D loop from uh, Sportsman. I don't know if you guys have that anywhere where you guys live, but first thing you gotta do is make sure this is flat. Okay, so pull back. Make sure I should have a twist. So this knot should be this way. Then. What I kind of like to do, you guys can see on this side, Austin can zoom in right here. See how the knot is on the inside of it, so it's not like right next to each other, it's behind it. I feel like it just gives it a better knot that way. So literally all you do for that is kind of just pinch the knot. So this one will come in here, so I kind of like get these needle nose in here. I'll pinch it like that try to get this one behind it like that and it should get in there and get right behind it I just feel like it's a better knot that way it might not be I just personally think it does it but I'm gonna throw this in here tighten her up hopefully that thing blows up so there's a gap here so I would just grab these pliers squeeze it as I go Stretch her again. As it gets tighter, just keep squeezing it and it should just slip right behind it. All right, so that's done. Next, I do want to fix this stop right here. Super simple. Uh, I've done it to my bows over the year. But see how when I got that new string, now there's more tension on it because there's no stretch, there's that gap right there. Literally all you do, grab on these, there should be this little bolt here. Just loosen it up just enough. And I would literally just tip my bow upside down like this. And loosen up some more. Just like gravity, take it down like so. See how it just falls in there? Make sure it's centered. But don't push on it because you don't want it like pushing, you just want it just to be touching. And just tighten it back up. Just like that. So it should be on the money, it's not pushing or anything like that, and it should be all good to go. Um, I think next we gotta tie in this limb driven. And I gotta figure out how to do that. I'm not sure how I wanna do it. I have an idea of what I wanna do. So this is my first limb driven wrist. If it, doesn't shoot well like this and I'll move it down here to the actual limb but I feel like if I have it right here right where the cam's at if it doesn't bother anything I think it'll be a lot more precise and then I won't have to move this around so much on down here just because of the extra but I'm just gonna do simple overhand knots right here and then keep all the extra string guess we'll just let it burn down we're on the money right there so that's on. I am gonna check the pound if I quick before I do it back. Oh shit, I can't, I, I can't actually. Yeah, we're here. Right, Come we're on now. Where we're gonna see where I'm at. All right, this is the first pullback. 
kind of fucking scared. 56. You mean 56? Everything's on track before I pull it back because I don't want to fucking throw an arrow in it before you pull it back. Sure. I got a target here or there. I probably wouldn't shoot it, but no, nah. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. All right, we're gonna see what the time is at right now. Sixty-one. Sixty-one. Ooh. Actually, really nice. She's a spicy unit. You have a lot of room to go still. these in and send air through the fucking paper and see. <laughs> Fuck, I hope not. I don't know if I'm that noticeable yet, but very soon. See what you say before. Tight in, tight in. Yeah, that side and that side in. Yeah. All your loops are still on. Yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Get a bullet hole first. First go. Pull back. I want to watch your timing. Oh yeah. Watch that too. Yeah. 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 Okay. My so Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey, that's not too bad right there. <laughs> A little knock high. A little high. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Looking like it. You can get the shoots like that. You want to twist it? Oh, it should be good. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> <starting>. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> See that? I'm saying that's yeah. money right there. About what, 15 shots later? Yeah. The only thing I gotta do is fix this peep twist. But yeah, here's the bow. Uh, probably not, but. Let's see. I wanna see. I wanna see your, your tuning. 
uh, it's pretty good. Just gotta practice some oversight in the bow. Yeah, I did get it right there on the money. I'm guessing that's the money. I just shoot a four clutch. But uh, yeah. That's gonna do it for us. Uh, bow build done. Looks pretty fucking sick to me. It's my fourth year shooting this. Turk season's coming up. Um, Austin, Marvin, maybe James is gonna do uh, shotgun. And me and Austin are gonna do bow. So hopefully we can get one down. Public land, hopefully I can keep the streak going and keep getting trophies. But uh, yeah, bow's at 65 pounds. At 28 draw length. Uh, finally got that peep size straight and yeah, it's shooting good. So all I gotta do is keep practicing. So yeah, thanks for watching. What's up, baby? Oh shit, I forgot. Shout out to Austin Valera who's used his garage and Oh yeah. His every, no this is everything. No problem. <laughs> he does, all right. he does, he does it's all good. for about uh, it's all good. an hour. It's all good. Yeah, just come to the shop. Yeah. We got his bow skirt off too. You help me, I help you. Oh, that's where I got my serving, huh? Shit. Even though you cost me a lot of money, this new hobby. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a shit.